Hello Year 10. In the next few lessons we'll be looking at shapes that are not prisms such as pyramids and cones and how to find the volume and the surface area of these shapes. Pyramids are solids which come to a point so they do not have the same cross-sectional area all the way through. However their volume is connected to a prism whose cross-section is the same as the base. So in the case of the pyramid the volume is one third of this prism. So the formula for the volume of a pyramid is one third times the base area times the perpendicular height. If we ignore that, a volume where we have a base area times the perpendicular height is a prism. So one third of it would be the pyramid. Looking at example one, we can see that this solid is a pyramid where the bottom is a triangle the base of which is 6 centimetres and the height is 5 centimetres. So we need to find the area of this base. Now area of base is equal to 1 half times the base times the height, which is 1 half times by 6 times by 5. That's 3 times by 5 is 15 square centimetres. So the area of the base of our pyramid is 15 square centimetres. Now we know this, we can find the volume. Volume of pyramid is equal to one third times by the base area, 15, times by the height, and that's the vertical height of it, how tall it is, which is 8. One third of 15 is 5. 5 times by 8 is 40 square centi uh, cubic centimetres. Make sure you get the units right. So that's my volume. Example 2 is all about finding the surface area of a pyramid. This is a little bit more complex. To find the surface area of this pyramid, we have got five surfaces, five faces, a square base and four triangular faces. <coughs> the best way to visualize this is to draw the net. So open out your pyramid into this net and you can see your square base where the area is four times by four and four isosceles triangles. This is length L marked in the diagram and we need that to find the area of this triangle but unfortunately there's not enough information there just yet. We need to find L first. So go back to your pyramid and take a slice straight through this top point, straight down, cut it in half. You cut it in half, you will see this triangular face where that L is a length down one face and we have a base straight across the bottom here of four centimetres and it's an isosceles triangle and it's as tall as the pyramid so seven centimetres tall. Now with that information I'm going to chop that in two to make a right angle triangle where that is seven this side is two and one side which we do not know this means I can use Pythagoras to work out side L so L squared is equal to 7 squared plus 2 squared, 49 plus 4. L squared is equal to 53, which means that L is equal to the square root of 53. And I'm going to leave it like that. That way I don't have to make any decision about how I'm going to round this just yet. I can leave that till the very end. I now have enough information to find the area of one triangle. So the area of one triangle is one half times the base, which is four, that's this triangle here, times by length L, which is the square root of 53. 
half of 4 is 2 and I'm going to leave that in its exact form to root 53. Again, I haven't had to make a decision about rounding. So if I know one triangle, I know four triangles. So in total then, surface area of the pyramid is going to be the square base, four times by four, plus four triangles, four lots of two root 53. That's 16 plus four lots of two root 53 is eight root 53. That's its exact form. And now I need to get my calculator out, stick that into the calculator and round to one decimal place. And my answer is 74.2 square centimetres because it's an area. Right, now it's your turn. You're going to have a go at some of the questions from 15.3 S1, all about pyramids.